you still doing here? I was nearly killed by some maniac in black pajamas. You have to get out of here. We need to manufacture your neurotoxin antidote on a large scale. That would take weeks. We don't have weeks. The toxin's already been dispersed. It's in our water supply. That doesn't make any sense. The toxin's an inhalant. Putting it in the water wouldn't work. Unless... What? Unless you had a microwave emitter powerful enough to vaporize the whole system. The kind recently stolen from Wayne Enterprise. Stay there! I'll find a way out for you! Getting any cooler down here. you but I am on fire Save your own hide. Alfred, are you still alive? No, sir, but loyal as always, waiting by the piano. I'll be there. Hope you didn't rush your mic out, sir. Tomorrow the world will watch in horror as its greatest city destroys itself. Time to spread the word. And the word is... Panic.
monorail follows the water mains to the central hub beneath Wayne Tower. Sir, there appears to be a panic about the narrow back bridge. There's a panic about the entire island. Ra's al Ghul's already vaporized the toxin. Of course, sir. But the crisis at hand is keeping it from spreading into Gotham proper. Someone is lowering the Narrowborough Bridge. Mobs poisoned by Crane's toxin could spill into the city. I'll stop the bridge. I'll put the control tower on your radar. And the uh, Batmobile? It stays on the tracks. The monorail can't reach Gotham without crossing that point. If I can't stop the train, the Batmobile's auto-destruct is my fail -safe. Man, come to join my tea party. Crane. Oh no. Scarecrow. A few more minutes and the bridge will be down and Gotham will have so many more psychopaths than just you and I. I'm through playing games, Crane. Life is a game. So yes, maybe you are.
You're not human. Stay away. Don't come any closer. It's not happening. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid. That sounded like a rather final exit for Dr. Crane. Don't count on it until they've dragged the river. Madness can make men survive the impossible. Who would know better, sir?